Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the show, The Politically Social, and I'm your host, Afia, with Adelola, and we have with us today Mr. Francisco Piobla, one of the heroes that helped the NYPD catch Frank James. How are you, Francisco? Good, thank you. So, who is Francisco Piobla? Tell us about yourself. Well, Francisco Piobla is one of the persons that uh, I would say arrived in the United States since, uh, you know, two, um, I would say, 2000. So, um, yeah, and then uh, I started working here at uh, 3 a.m. I recognize him right away because of his hat and his part of his body, what they show on the social media and the news and all that. I recognize, like, right away. I asked, is Mohammed. Right, I asked him like, don't turn around so fast, just turn around and just please confirm with me that uh, if I'm right or wrong, this person that is walking uh, this way to us, and, uh, I think it's the guy that he did the shooting last morning, just turn around and confirm. And so he just like he went in panic and turned around and said, oh, shoot, yes it is, it's, it's him type of work that I, I, I do here is uh, basically customer service and and uh, watch also around the store so yes that's that's part of my duty uh, every day so I have to see who walk in who walk out and so I guess that what helped me also to, to identify this person after all this happened I just came back to the, to safety and continue working as a normal day but after that, I decided to went to the uh, police department and, and let them know that I was the one that uh, I flagged the police. Hi, I'm Lola Tanubu here with Francisco Puebla, New York City's hero for the moment. Um, I do want to give you a personal thank you because I take the R train quite often. <laughs> so what I wanted to know was, how do you feel after everything that has happened? Um, the state seems to owe you money. There's a $50,000 reward for any type of information in uh, securing the whereabouts of Mr. James. So have you seen any of that money yet? Uh, not yet. I guess that it's going to be in process, probably. So it's in process. But yeah, no, not yet. I want to say this because basically my status is not um, it's, um, not legal here. So basically, uh, I I um, being here for many years, and I think uh, for whatever I did uh, for for the country or you know, for the state, right? I think I deserve uh, something else, like to to get my uh, actual status, and so that's why I want to say about this. Uh, to those people who are out there and if they can help or you know, they can see my case and see if they can do something about it. At this point nobody has uh, reached me like so I have to reach a, a, a lawyer and just to to like at least to stay safe and then if there is something that I, we can do I have my lawyer uh, ready. I have uh, hope and then I uh, won't lose that hope and we'll see. Keep working hard. Yes. Thank you so much for everything you did. Thank you. Wow, that was that was very interesting. It was really inspiring. Yeah, I mean, um, this guy, he really stepped up and did a lot for, for New Yorkers. It's interesting how we went to the McDonald's and UPS and both stores declined to comment. And McDonald's is right where Frank James was sitting. No one from McDonald's called the cops that day. You know, perhaps they didn't notice, but it's a lesson for us all to be a little bit more vigilant. Right, absolutely. And it's our humble request that we help uh, Francisco Piobla get status in the country. That would be his true reward. And I think we all, as New Yorkers, owe it to the man. He certainly deserves it. He deserves all of our help. Um, please step up to assist um, because he stepped up for the city of New York. Right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.